Uh, hello everyone, uh, today I would like to show you uh, how we test sample of ICP. I will show our lab, our AquaForest lab, and, and so I have uh, samples for my private home tank. And I will show you people that work here, how we make these tests, uh, our two ICP machines and our chromatograph as well. And, and you will see from the inside how it works. So let's go there, uh, you know, in our company, in our lab, we have six, six chemists, one biotechnologist, two biologists that are testing, producing uh, new, uh, new product that are, they are um, taking care of the quality of the products. So let's see how it's, how it's made. And I will show you from the inside uh, our lab. So let's enter. So here you have the lab and I, I, I've done this video before but this is, this is the lab so I'll enter with the probe and with the dials and I will show you how it is, okay? Uh, so I enter in the lab and here we go. So I will change the, the view of the camera. So as as I oh, as I told you, I will leave my vials, my samples. Uh, so we have two ICP machines, uh, which are kno known as uh, best on the market, most accurate, most uh, reliable. Uh, we have a chromatograph. It's more for uh, not for service outside services from our quality control. Uh, why we have two machines? So of course, it's, 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 we, we, sell more, we, we, can, we can make uh, more tests, but at the same time, these this ICP machines have some limits and, and they should be calibrated for uh, trace elements and macro elements separately. Uh, so if we want to have a good, uh, good reading and, and to be accurate, we need to make this test with for macro elements on one machine and for trace elements for one machine. If we have only one machine, it was, which was uh, in the past, we should recalibrate this machine every day. So one day we made before uh, for macro and another day for, for traces. So now we don't need to, because one is for trace and another for, for the macro elements. And the samples that we have here uh, for macro elements, they, are, they, they need to be diluted 100, 100 times to have right amount of, of uh, to be accurate, just more or less. So when we make this test, uh, the, samples, the samples arrive here and it's, uh, uh, they are treated as a contaminated, so they are uh, for uh, 24 hours, they stay here and, and they, are, uh, they are waiting for, for the turn. Uh, that's why we always say that uh, they need to wait. Um, so what happened? So so that's uh, that's about the, the samples that we normally have uh, as a, as a, as a ICP testing. So this I will do it. Thank you. And and um, but laboratory is not only ICP testing for uh, for for us as a uh, aquarist. Uh, they testing here the products. The, every batch of salt is testing here as well. So when when we produce. Ton of the one batch is one ton of the salt when it's produced. They co they coming here in the from the production direction. It's coming here to to the lab. It's tested when it's match the the range that we have uh, in our in our uh, standards. They laboratory give the the green light to the production that they can pack it in the buckets on the, on every packaging that we have. Before that, it will not pass, which uh, which make us. Uh, I'm not sure about other companies, but, but it's very strict uh, quality control. So, in the same time, everybody can check online uh, this result from, from the lab. It's, it's checking for, for the, it is, it is checked for, uh, for clarity, how it's dissolved, uh, for all the parameters, if not, there's no uh, PO4 and O3, and, and it's, it's made in chromatograph and at the same time uh, for, uh, for all traces and for macro elements.
So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, oh, I have another another thing to say. We have in the same time we have new Aquaforest Lab website uh, when we can see the results. And there you can see uh, new features. One of the features is that 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 we. Uh, we made the recommendation based on the results of the ICP testing. So if you have uh, some defiances of, of micro elements like a magnesium, let's say, so you have exactly, uh, exactly uh, the dose that you need to, 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 to dose in your tank uh, with our products. And which is, well, there's another cool feature there as well. So you can compare your results uh, from the past. That's, that's, a, that's a cool thing that I saw. So you can make a charts and you see how fluctuate the parameters during, during the, the test that you made. Uh, so see your tests and watch uh, on, and, and compare them uh, during the time. It's a very, very nice feature. And at the same time, you can see what action you need to make in, from your water. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.